Hi, this is Karen. Welcome to my channel. I'm with inspiredbygram.com and this year in 2019 I thought I would bring you my craft fair series. So this is episode number one of 2019 and in the episodes coming up I'm going to show you the products that I sell at craft fairs throughout the year. I do about 10 of them every year, um, give or take, and I'm going to show you my most successful products from year to year. So this product is a mini post-it note and I created a holder to hold it. So what I like about this is it is reusable. So once this little post-it note is done and as long as your holder is still good, you can just um, put another one in there with some double um, sided tape something strong of course and um, you can reuse it so these are the ones i've created i usually make them in five different sentiments or designs i like to have one that is plain just with a design and i also like to have about of course four here um, with just sentiments that i think customers would like to purchase. So this is um, a, a retired stamp set. It's called a round array. Um, I've had it for quite a few years and I'm not gonna let it go. So, because it, they make really good um, little designs here from the center of the post-it note holder. So this says K for kindness. This one says, you make me smile. This one, says love and this one comes from the lift me up stamp set from stampin up and this one is also from that same same stamp set and it just says note so a lot of my customers they just like to um, pick out a lot of the positive ones and you know and these are all positive sentiments these two of course and this one with love and this one is kind of fun for kids and this one is kind of more generic. So let me show you how I created this. And I'm gonna create a batch of five. So you know, um, so you can see how I mass produce. So I'm gonna bring in my stamp and trimmer. And what I like about this, it's got a scoring tool and it's got a cutting tool. So you need both of those in um, when you cut and score. So I've got a piece of 12 by 12 designer series paper, um, petal promenade. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this and I'm gonna line it up at the five inch mark and we'll cut two of these. So just straight up. And we'll cut this one. I'm gonna just showing you how many you can get out of a 12 by 12 um, sheet of paper. And this one just gets cut five inches and this one is five inches. And this is all you're left with. So you can use um, this for maybe a, a magnet uh, that you can, I'm gonna do a, another video where I show a two by two magnet um, or tile that is um, Mod Podge and you can use it for your refrigerator. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to take these bigger pieces and we are going to score them. So we wanna get that blade out of the way so we don't cut our paper. And now I'm scoring at one and one eighth. Just go down and then one and a half. Just make sure your paper is lined up along that line. And then we're gonna slide it over to three. I'm sure you can't see these score marks, but I will have it on my blog. Um, and then three and a half. And I know my measurement on the, the camera, on the, the stamp and trimmer here is kind of out of the picture, but um, I will have those dimensions on my blog, like I said. So now we're just gonna cut this one at two inches. All right, so just very quickly, we can do that. You don't, you wanna be really kind of exact on this because I've done it a couple times where the paper is too, um, it's not wide enough, so then of course it doesn't look good with a post-it note. Some of the post-it notes are a little bit different in size as well. So, all right, so now we've got six pieces here. So now we're gonna just take that um, other piece of five inch by 12 inch and score that one again. Of course, get that blade out of the way. And we've got it at one and one eighth, one and a half. 
three and three and a half. And we'll cut this again at two inches real quick. There's two, three, four, five and six. So that's 12 pieces that we've got so far. Now you've got these here that are two by five and you can use those as well. So we'll just score those again. This paper does not have a kind of like a pattern like up, up or down so you don't have to really worry about it. But if you do have a paper that's, you know, a directional paper, you've got to be careful how you cut and score. All right, so one and an eighth, one and a half, three, and three and a half. All right, so now we've got 14 pieces, 14 holders from that one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. So now I'm going to get my trimmer out of the way and we're going to bring in a piece of uh, Whisper White cardstock and I've also got a piece of Calypso Coral scrap. Now I'm going to punch out five circles and this is the one and one quarter inch circle from Stampin' Up! And you can use whatever one and one quarter inch circle that you have. I found that that's the best size for these. Four and five. I like to use a lot of my scraps too, um, so we're not wasting. All right, we're gonna need a one inch circle punch, but not right yet because we've got a stamp. So now I've got these all on blocks here. Let me just show you. I've got four nice blocks here that fit these, and then I've got my next size up. I don't have five, so I had to use a bigger block there. I've got um, Calypso Coral um, Stampin' Pad here. Just open that up. And now what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna go and stamp these down and just give enough border so you can punch it out with the one inch circle. Okay, so there we go. Get those out of the way. Close up our ink pad so we're all done with that. Now we're going to punch these out with a one inch circle punch. These are so easy to mass produce and at the end I'll show you how many I've got done and how many more I've got to do. But I did sell probably well over 300 of these or this past year. All right, so now we've got all these on. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip them over because we're gonna um, add our snail adhesive. And I just like to go run it over all at once. Do the same step when you're mass producing. It's so much quicker just to do the same thing. And you just save a lot of time. So now this is just gonna get layered onto that one and a quarter inch circle real quick. Oops, that one got stuck. All right, almost done. All right, the next step is we're going to, um, we're gonna flip these over. So when I, when you put the adhesive on the back side of here, you wanna only put it on half of it and you wanna put it on the top. So this is directional, whereas this one is not directional. So I'm gonna make sure that this is on my right side. This one doesn't matter. This one does matter. So I get these all lined up, ready to go. And now you can use um, tear and tape, but I um, am choosing to use my ATG gun because it's so much quicker for me. So I'm just gonna run this over real quick. See how quick it is when you're mass producing, you're doing the same step. You really don't have to think about it too much. Okay, so those are all set. We're gonna slide these aside because we got to go on to the post-it note part of this. So just slide these, that ATG tape is really sticky. It's kind of like your fast fuse. 
All right, so let's look at this post-it notes. I will have a link to where I purchased these from, but I've got five here, three, four, actually six, but we'll put one away and we're only making five. So I've already put the tear and tape on the back side of the hair. Okay, you want something very, very sticky, all right? So that step is already done. We will need five of these holders. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do next is you don't need a scoring your uh, bone folder. You can just use your fingers to do this part. And then I'm just folding along each of those score lines. I've got three left here. And uh, sometimes the post mini post-it notes Sometimes they're a little bit thicker or thinner than each. The brands, different brands are different sizes. So you just gotta be careful. That's why these score lines may not be exact, but I like to have that little buffer room. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to add the um, sticky note to the holder. So you're just gonna tear that up and I'm going to put it along this score line here. So you see this one is bigger this one is smaller, so we're just going to fold that up on that second line so it's more like a L shape. We're going to line this up against that score line and give it a nice press, okay? I'll do that one again, do it four more times. Again, rip that off, make an L shape, slide it in, give it a press, and then a really nice rub on the back side. Okay, we got three more to go. Again, L shape. See, again, when you're mass producing, you really don't have to think too hard. It just kind of comes with you. All right, we've got one more. And we've got it over here, I'll flip this over. L shape, press, and really firm rub. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these backings here so they're out of the way. All right, so now we're going to add the Velcro to these. Okay, let me just show you um, one of these here. That um, The Velcro, they're little 5 8 inch circles here and they stick right onto the paper there. And that's what holds them shut. So let me bring that into the picture. I purchased these, they're 80 circles. You need to be careful because sometimes they're just sold with the backs. So you gotta make sure that you have the right item number. And these are just the sticky backs, five each inch circle. Now, um, when they come in that package, if you notice here, they're all kind of in a like circle. So I take them out and I stick them together like this because I find it so much easier to do it this way. And um, it just, you can just peel this backing off real slow. So what I do is one at a time and I stick it to my finger, put it on the smaller one, smaller panel, the top panel, and then make sure it's all good and lined up on your sides, fold it over and give it a nice press. And it's okay if that Velcro is showing just a little bit because the circle is gonna cover that up. So we'll do that again four more times. Again. Just lift that up, fold this one up, stick it down, and then fold it over and give it a nice press. And I just stuck them over to the side. Okay. Fold up, press down, and fold over. We're getting there. This is kind of, the, I think, the hardest step because the Velcro is so super sticky. Okay, press down, and then fold, or, fold over and press. All right, this is the last one. Fold up, press down, and then fold over. Okay, I love that one, that one's really pretty. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these circles that we created 
and we're going to just press them down and what we when we press them down we want to make sure that none of the sticky adhesive is on this side of it because then it would stick down here and you don't want that to happen so I kind of just eyeball it and then I give it a nice little rub and then set it aside and then sometimes that ATG tape comes, runs over so you just fold it back again about three quarters of it is up on that upper panel and we're almost done we've got two more to go all right so that's the last one this one's a little bit off I'll fix that later this didn't get on that circle very nicely but it's kind of cool kind of like a weirder uh, different shape but all right so there's five of them okay so let me bring in the picture oh you're gonna want to know how much I sell these for um, I, I knew you'd ask that so um, I sell them a dollar a piece or six so six for five dollars and most people buy six so it's pretty good uh, margin for you and let me just show you how many I have made so far. So there's one bin here. You, there's no way you're gonna be able to see it, okay? And then I've got another bin that looks like this. So I use a lot of my retired paper and a lot of current paper, just in all different kinds of um, flowers and polka dots and stripes and all different kinds. And now let me show you how many more. <laughs> I have left to do it is one more bin so I've got all these left to do but again this will won't take me too long because um, I just like to mass when you mass produce it's so much quicker so I um, will put all the materials on my blog and also um, you can find it, these products except for some of the like the ATG and the velcro I'll give you item numbers for those and where I purchase those but any of the Stampin' Up! supplies you can find at my website, inspiredbygram.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Craft Fair series. Thank you.